Tunisia, Tahrir Square and now Tehran. Outwardly, the rallies were supporting the Egyptian uprising, but the authorities fear it could be the start of a movement against President Ahmadinejad. Police released tear gas to disperse the crowds that gathered in the capital. Shots were fired during clashes and several people hit. Iran has seen this kind of protest before. Even the chants of God is great are the same. After statements in support of the Egyptian revolution, calling it an Islamic awakening, the Iranian authorities' reaction has drawn the ire of the international community. What we see happening in Iran today is a testament to the courage of the Iranian people and an indictment of the hypocrisy of the Iranian regime, a regime which, over the last three weeks, has constantly hailed what went on in Egypt. And now, when given the opportunity to afford their people the same rights as they called for on behalf of the Egyptian people, once again, illustrate their true nature. The crackdown is no surprise. A similar backlash suppressed protests in the wake of the disputed presidential election in 2009. At least 30 people died during clashes with security forces. It was business as usual for Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, though, who welcomed the Turkish president on a visit to Tehran. He's proved before that he can survive mass protests. But as these rallies continue into the night, opposition groups will be hoping they can harness the people power that toppled Presidents Mubarak and Ben Ali and bring about another Iranian revolution 31 years on. Stephen Carroll, Sky News.